hi friends uh, so the important uh, part of writing dml is a bunch of dmls when you want them to be incorporated in a transaction that is when uh, the complexities begin to uh, come in and then and that is when you start thinking as uh, in terms of concurrency in terms of deadlocks blockings and uh, other things so in this is uh, it is in this scenario where in you will come to know uh, something that is transaction isolation level uh, so far uh, as a product sql server uh, till 2005 edition of sql server they were primarily uh, the four d uh, four uh, kinds of transaction isolation levels that was uh, supported in sql server which uh, we can see in any of the sessions you uh, click on the query options uh, in advanced you will see the trans transaction isolation level as uh, the four that i am mentioning now it's it's read committed read uncommitted repeatable reads and serializable so read committed is the default transaction isolation level for sql server which means by default sql server will, re will read only the committed data uh, read uncommitted will be something uh, which uh, you are trying to uh, make a dirty read you are trying to make a, a uh, an, uh, read through via an un uh, no lock option in your query something like that uh, repeatable reads uh, will, will try to read uh, data that is uh, that has not yet been committed and uh, and and frequently changing serializable again is is, is the uh, transaction isolation level which uh, uh, which uh, eliminates and creates an exclusive lock so uh, uh, and i mean it, it is it doesn't allow anything until unless your data uh, i mean uh, on the table that is being manipulated is is uh, worked up upon so serializable is the highest level of exclusive locks uh, it uh, eliminates each and any kind of even a read it eliminates any kind of concurrencies that might just come in and that's the highest level that you could think of so these are the four basic transaction isolation level uh, in, in sql server till 2005 but the point that i am trying to bring in in this video is is uh, another isolation level which has come up from sql server 2008 onwards that is uh, a snapshot isolation level we will be trying to uh, know we'll, we'll try to know uh, this uh, new isolation level uh, as a, which is a part of a product uh, as uh, of sql server 2008 and uh, i would request uh, all the viewers to also i mean uh, try and get to know the other four that i have uh, not explained in in a very uh, brief way i mean i i, I am just uh, doing away i expect that you know the, these four basic uh, transaction isolation levels maybe if i get time i'll, I'll shoot a video on, on these as well so let's just uh, walk through uh, this generally what happens is if uh, this is a very simple example we'll be taking we'll, uh, this is a table that i have so what i what i do is in this table i just open a transaction for this session my session I id is uh, if you see it's 68 so uh, so for this session i, I simply uh, update the e name of this record to something else so and and this is an open transaction I, i'm just not committing it it's it's an open transaction as of now and in the next window which is a new session uh, which is 69 let me just uh, try to read this uh, value which select star from e -MT. so if you see it will not be able to fetch you any results because the reason is it's it's not able to uh, get the values from this because there is an open transaction here if you see i have not yet committed the record so this this is basically what happens in the application perspective when there is a transaction or, or a dml that is an update happening its uh, other uh, reads will even be obstructed in the read committed mode but we can this is actually the read committed fashion it's actually waiting for uh, for the prior data to commit and then it will begin its reading even the read is blocked so i'm cancelling this query i'll show what is read uncommitted is if we use the option with no lock it will do a dirty read so it is reading the record as reshub which is updated first of all but not committed so i have not committed this record even now it's and what ha what happens if i roll back this record if i roll this back my record i mean the transaction my record is actually keshav but what did i read during that period 
I read I read it as Rishabh. So it's it's a dirty read. It's uh, it's a dirty read by which you mean you can uh, the data could be inconsistent in a banking transaction. You are actually reading uh, uh, the record uh, of person having withdrawn some money from an ATM and uh, of say five thousand rupees from his ATM, but the transaction was never successful. So you actually read his account balance as minus five thousand rupees, but his account balance was as is because the transaction never happened happened i mean it, it got rolled back because of some failures so that's uh, that's the issue that you would come into when you are trying to perform a, a dirty read that's a dirty read next if you are trying to perform a normal read i mean read committed data it will not happen because it will go in the wait condition it will have to wait for the transaction to commit only then you will be able to get uh, that uh, value so basically that's the scenario now what happens is i am uh, going to explain what is an allows i mean a snapshot isolation level so a snapshot isolation level is actually a sql server's way of uh, keeping a snapshot of the data of of the table of of the rows that are being currently operated and and keeping them in, into the temp db so temp db will act as uh, as the repository wherein sql server will uh, will actually keep the row versions i mean uh, um, it will it will version the rows if there are 10 um, i mean uh, that there is some update that is happening it will keep the data and in a temp db apart from the transaction that has has begun so what i i mean i i might be confusing you here let me first explain to uh, allow snapshot you need to enable the data database uh, first so first we will go ahead and, and enable the database current database to allow snapshot isolation level so we have done that next we will see what uh, what uh, we are doing here so next what i do is again my data is correct so this is my current data now what i do is i try to uh, update this record to rishabh fine i have not committed the transaction so i uh, here again i begin a transaction and, and and i try to read read the data if i try to read the data you would see that it's going in the wait condition but if i set it at as a transaction isolation level okay let me just commit this one first right now if i right so now what happens is we have actually updated the record to rishab but since we have uh, uh, what what sql server does is we are able to uh, read the data remember without the no lock option we are not using a no lock option we are simply specifying the transaction isolation level to snapshot and our transaction is able to read the data so this data that you are actually seeing is actually from the temp db the row number one which was uh, of eid one is actually present in the temp db and it's it has been versioned so basically sql server is encaching a version of of the row that was uh, that is under transaction so any transaction which is going on sql server uh, sql server is not i mean which has happened and not yet committed sql server ignores that and keeps the uh, snapshot of of the records in the temp db and gives you uh, so you are able to read you are able to perform a read even without uh, um, i mean performing any dirty read so now what happens is if you say if you roll back this transaction or, or if you commit this transaction say you have committed this transaction and here you have committed this transaction as well so once uh, this has been committed so uh, next time it was it is going to give you the uh, correct records so basically it it will give you the updated uh, i mean automatically the snapshot will be updated in the temp db the version of the rows will be updated so basically this is one of the ways uh, um, i mean uh, in terms where you can actually ignore the dirty reads and rely upon uh, the snapshots uh, which is the current ones i mean it it will actually allow you to read the current uh, current data without uh, having uh, i mean depending upon the dirty reads so that was a snapshot isolation level for you i mm, 
i hope i mean I, i'm still not a very uh, sure i would like to hear from you how the server uh, i mean uh, handles this loads is this uh, i mean if you are enabling a database for snapshot isolation level is that uh, i mean a bulky transaction or the transaction gets heavier to due to that i am still not uh, i'm yet to encounter that but briefly this is a snapshot isolation level for you which is uh, newly been introduced in sql server 2008 uh, thank you friends please uh, feel free to give feedback on this uh, isolation level as i would really gladly want to hear on this thank you